Hey, this is Tony Ross for CreativeCal.net, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create custom swatches. And you can actually save out different libraries, and that way you don't have to use the default set of colors or try to remember, okay, well, where is this custom color and different things like that. I'm going to save out uh, a little individual library, and I'm going to use as my color reference, I'm actually going to pull in a piece of clip art that's public domain. Uh, because I have some really nice old school colors, so I'm going to try that. Okay, first and foremost, let's go ahead and look at our swatches the way they are default. Okay, so here's our swatch window. And just to see what we're doing a little bit more, I'm going to bring this over here and uh, stretch this out a bit. Okay, now what I want to do is go ahead and import an image here. Do Command R. And I'm going to find my image, Servant Tripping. Okay, great. He's uh, tripping over our little dog there, and, and, and there's quite a shock there. It's, it's kind of cool. It's a little bit of diamondism going, well, all right, well, anyway, enough of the art history lesson. So uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, one, got all these colors, and let's say if I needed to keep all of these colors, well, then what I would do simply click right here on the fill color and then start moving my cursor over and then if you notice anywhere I'm moving here uh, this little line uh, this little space here is actually tracking what that color is so if I decide to click here there's a color and then I could come down here and add that color okay show you again click here and let's say if I want to get this, uh, it's a really happening blue kind of thing here. Click here, come over here, add that color. All right, now let's say if we want to use this nothing but these colors here. So what I can do is come here and simply say clear colors. That reduces me to simply black and white. So I'm going to click here again and let's say uh, there's that nice gold. We'll add that one. Click here again. And let's find that little red. I'm just going to keep on doing this until I have all the colors that I like. Let's see. And actually, uh, Junior's got some really nice blonde hair there. Let's see if I can grab that. Almost same color as everything else. Well, maybe let's grab here. Little rosy cheeks. Okay, so now we've got our palette going the way we like it. And what I want to do next is simply come over here and say save colors. So what I want to do is go ahead and save this into my little file here. All right, so I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, P domain as in public domain. Public domain is a great thing. Okay, now it's going to say this is a flash color set dot CLR. So I'm going to simply say save. All right, that's great. We've saved those colors. Now, let's uh, say we first open up flash and we have what is known as the default color. So I can simply say load default. And these are the colors that are there. It's like, okay, yeah, we're supposed to be working on this great animation with that old school color. Okay, well, let's go here click and we'll simply say let's see replace colors I don't want to add the colors I want to replace the colors so I can go here and find what I just saved up pdomain.clr click on open and voila there are our colors this has been Tony Ross for creativecow.net and remember keep it simple make it perfect if you don't have time to make it perfect rethink the idea